Hey guys, welcome back to Kitty Sessions. In this Kitty Session, we are gonna talk about Blue Prism Decipher IDP. Uh, Decipher IDP is a feature of the Blue Prism with the help of which we can process the document. So in day-to-day -day life, we process lot of documents means uh, if we want to extract the details from an invoice, from bank statement, from credit memo, from any another document, and we want to get some data from this document and then process further. So for this, Blue Prism has created a tool which is Decipher IDP. Okay. So if we understand, if we uh, see how Decipher IDP works, so there are total four steps. In first step, we submit that document to decipher IDP through Blue Prism. In second step, OCR and uh, machine learning recognize, classify and extract data from the documents. And step three, decipher IDP flags document and data points that need to be verified because the confidence threshold was not met. Okay. And the fourth step will be validated results are returned to a Blue Prism vacuum where the data can be used in RPA processes. So these are four steps which uh, uh, with the help of which Decipher IDP works. So in simple word we can say uh, there isn't any manual intervention is required Blue Prism itself. Uh, uh, we need to submit the documents to Blue Prism uh, with the help of Blue Prism and uh, we will submit the document to Decipher IDP. First we need to install the Decipher IDP in our uh, machine where we want to perform this after that we will submit the documents to this decipher idp so uh, if we start processing first of all we will place all the documents in our local machine or in uh, somewhere where the blue prism board can uh, access the documents and uh, after that we will submit the document to the decipher idp with the help of bot or Blue Prism process. So Decipher will uh, extract the details and Decipher IDP is designed to work without any human intervention. So it will intelligently extract the and deliver the data for uh, our Blue Prism process. However, there may be some cases where uh, the help uh, will be required. In those cases, uh, subject matter expert SME, SME will uh, sign into Decipher's browser-based portal to make the corrections and confirmation relevant to their roles. So if any manual intervention is required, uh, SME will uh, sign into Decipher's browser-based portal. So there is a browser-based portal for Decipher, uh, which we can see after installing the Decipher IDP. Uh, this Decipher uh, our portal is look like this. This is the home page of Decipher uh, IDP. So here we can see the batch of documents. This is the class verification tab. This class verification tab is used to confirm or correct classification decisions are made by Decipher IDP. So you can see all the documents here. And Decipher IDP can handle batches with multiple type of documents, means the different type of documents. All documents have been uh, classified and submitted. Now the next will be the data verification. So we can see uh, here in this invoice that uh, we can compare the match, uh, we can verify the data. So in data verification tab, we can use uh, to approve and correct the data if there is any requirement. All the documents of a batch are listed on the left and documents that require human verification are flagged. You can see the red flagged uh, button. So here uh, that uh, so guys uh, in simple words, if I explain this, for example, we have this invoice and our uh, IDP is unable to extract some details, uh, for example, subtotal. So in that case, that document will be marked as a red flag. Uh, okay. As we can see, so it requires human intervention means SME will uh, uh, manually get the data from this uh, invoice and put it here. Okay, so 
this is how it works or sometimes if there are multiple fields for example if subtotal we have multiple fields so at that uh, case uh, this idp will fail means uh, it will unable to uh, get that correct value because there are multiple subtotals so it will be confused that from which uh, from which field it has to pick the value once we input all the values so all the red flags will be removed now we can submit this patch so now all the validated results are returned to a blue prism work queue where they can be used in intelligent automations means we can use these uh, values in our blue prism processes as per our requirements you can see it in blue prism queue now we can get the item and we can process it so this is how uh, blue prism decipher idp works for uh, this is a paid uh, uh, paid a tool or paid feature of the blue prism so we need uh, enterprise edition for this and uh, uh, we need uh, we have to buy this uh, idp feature i uh, mean to uh, buy the license of this idp decipher at that time uh, after <laughs> that we can use it <laughs> So in simple word, if I say or uh, decipher IDP, we, uh, we use decipher IDP to extract the data, data from the uh, PDF files or for, uh, from any another documents and uh, we can submit the documents to decipher and it will add the, uh, then uh, after verification, it will uh, add the data or the value of those fields into the vacuum and from vacuum, we can get the details, whichever are required and we can or use those details in our blue prism process so, so thanks for watching this video guys do let me know if you still have any doubt or any query we will try to create a live demo of uh, this uh, decipher idp uh, we will try to arrange a license okay thank you guys